truth. Russian TV. Salute. The media, they make me act like I would act. I'm in jail. They reporting that I'm getting raped in jail. I'm sitting in jail. Niggas is banging on my door going, Pop! Win! Win! Why are you ain't saying that? What's going on? Talking about I got raped in jail. Ain't this a bitch. You did an interview with someone you USA Today, right? Yeah. Just about that, right? No, I didn't, I didn't even talk to them. They got that from somebody else. This other lady. I'm back in kick cash, but all these niggas turn in and never learn. Got a long line of niggas playing, hating me for skipping birth. Talk a lot of shit, but you some trick and jack. I'm away to make perfection, do you think I die? I never got a single visit, yet I carry on All my old friends too busy, now my money gone Said I got wrecked in jail, bitch of that Revenge is a payback, bitch Get your gas, fuck Wendy Williams fuck And I pray you back, bitch On the next stick down your throat For turning on me Used to have love for But now they turning on me Why me? Fat bitch can't fuck with me I stuck like biatch to have love for him, but now he's turning on me. Why oh, I me? Mean. I fuck around, put a hit on your fat ass. I put Jenny Craig on your fat ass, your fat troll. Anybody ever see Wendy Williams' fat ass? Why you always wear spandex, fat bitch? I know stink, you fat hoe. I put Jenny Craig on you, bitch. I'm about to put a $20,000 hit through Jenny Craig to come find your ass and put you in a fat farm, you fat bitch. Thug like outlaw west side bitches, Tupac, so you know who said it. If everybody didn't like what I said about that other trick in my dude, fuck you too, nigga. If a nigga didn't want to get talked about, he shouldn't have stepped in the fucking ring. If Tyson don't want to get knocked out, he don't step in the fucking ring. That's how the shit go. When Tyson get in the ring, he knock motherfuckers out. Well, that's what Tupac gonna do. When niggas come against me, I'm gonna knock they punk ass out. One way or the motherfucking other. This old motherfucking nigga in the South told me, nigga, it's more than one way to skin a cat. It's more than one, one way to shoot a cat. It's more than one way to die, nigga. When I'm through, everybody cry, nigga. This is how we do it. Came away in life for life. I bowed out all of that. But when they said that, they breathed new life. And Thug Life not only became a rap group, but it became a way of life for life for me. Because they, they disrespected me, my name, my family, what I had been through. They said that I couldn't be in pain. I could not feel, I could not be hurt. In my moment of pain, ever when I was shot five times in jail for a crime I didn't commit, while every other black person, I mean whoever they was fucking babies in the ass, or killing bitches and cutting them in 50 pieces, these niggas got support. I go to jail for a crime. Everybody know I did not commit. Get shot five times, and I'm getting raped in jail. Woomty, wompty. They just say anything to assassinate my character. Would that show me? Remember, remember this lack of a conscience when I come out. Remember this lack of mercy when I come out. Remember this lack of compassion when I come out. But now I come out. Everybody wanna calm down and relax and forget what you said. Yeah. I thought I could retire and move on. When I moved on to the so-called so real world, the, the civilized world, these motherfuckers is worse than the niggas in the streets. They was telling, I had little girls writing to me crying, saying you got raped in jail, I'm so sorry. That shit right there is what will fuel the anger that will never die. Having a, I had to write letters to a thousand little kids, explaining to them that I would be dead before a motherfucker would rape me, and you know that. So, as far as everybody, there is no mercy in my heart. You know what I mean? I'm not out here on the wild shit like I was before. Mm -hmm. This is not the same two Tupac. Okay, I'm turning on me. Where I gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Suge Knight is a man not to be messed with. I mean, his reputation is so thug and so gangster, yet he's an executive, but you don't want the hands-on side of Suge Knight. You're out of jail. You know, you're doing your thing. You're on parole. You have gang-affiliated people working at the row? I want to say they, it's gang affiliated people. It's, it's people from the ghetto because Death Row is a, is a company that was, I gave opportunities and still give opportunities right. to people who, who normally wouldn't get opportunities. And I still got to do that because that's my part. The interesting thing about Suge is, is that there's always that little thing with he and Snoop Dogg. I mean, Snoop Dogg was on Death Row. He leaves Death Row, he goes on to do well. Hello. They both still have to coexist in rap, 
Most of all, they both still live in Los Angeles. Is LA divided now between where Suge goes and where Snoop goes? Yes. Suge goes everywhere in LA. Snoop goes nowhere in LA. He can't go nowhere without 20 people holding his hand. They don't have no more stars over there, their folks. So they living off of Snoop Dogg and the Dr. Dre Pass and Tupac Soul, you know. They just living off of all old material. There's nothing over there brand new that's moving them. If Snoop want to express himself, or any of the artists want to express themselves, you know, we should just get your show and put a ring right there. You fight here on the show? I fight right on the show. If we can sign some papers where they don't violate my parole, oh yeah, I handle my business on the show. When's the last time you cried? Ooh, I see, you know, I haven't. Not to say I'm too much of a man to cry. I think that uh, once you, when you grew up in the ghetto, you all cried out by the time you make a, one time you consider yourself a man, it's, it's gone. You know what I mean? You care, you show passion. But at the same time, as men, we have responsibilities. We have responsibilities to be strong. We have responsibilities to lead by example. Is, is, is crying weak? I think so. I think that um, I don't think a woman would respect a man who comes home and say, I had a hard day and start crying. She probably wants to slap him. How does it feel to be um, so feared? I don't look at it as fear, I look at it as respect. You know, I look at it in a way where <clears throat> I'm gonna respect you, you're gonna respect me. If you can't respect me, I'm going to teach you how to respect me.